ruler out of a uh, note card here. I guess a fooler, right? A fake ruler. So let's see how good this works for drawing these graphs. So first graph we have is y is less than negative 3x plus 2. So in this video I'm going to make all of my lines being in the slope intercept form with the y is isolated so that I can use a shortcut for the shading. So y is less than negative 3x plus 2. Let's graph the line. The y intercept is 2. So I'm going to move up 2 along the y-axis and put a dot and then the slope is negative 3 which means we would go down 3 1 2 3 and then to the right 1 to get to the point located at 1 comma negative 1 so those two points are going to lie on this line so now I'm going to take this little ruler hopefully and line it up and draw in the line. Okay, now in this particular case I'm drawing my line dashed because this is an inequality that is a less than, not a less than or equal to. So since it's not equal to, I don't want it to be a solid line, therefore I draw it dotted. Okay, now if y is isolated on the left, then the sign less than or bigger than tells you which side to shade. In particular, this one's a less than, so the shading would be resulting below the line. So the shading is below the line in this case. Okay, let's try it again. Over here on the right, try a different color in green. This time the y-intercept is negative 1, so along the y-axis I'm just going to move down 1. And the slope this time is positive 2. So I'm going to go up 2, and then to the right 1. So I'm going to stop right there at the point called 1 comma 1, 1 comma 1, located right there. So draw, take the ruler again, line them up, and this time as I draw in the line, the line is going to be solid. And the reason why this one is a solid line is because now it's an equal to, it's bigger than or equal to. Also, since this line is a bigger than, that means the shading is going to occur, occur above. So I'm going to shade above that line, and there's the answer to this inequality. Okay, one more. Why don't you try to do this one on your own? Y is bigger than negative 2x plus 3. So assuming you gave it a shot here, tried it on your own. Y intercept for this line is going to be located at 3. So 1, 2, 3, right there. The slope is negative 2, which means we'll go down 2 and to the right 1. So we're going to be over here at the point 1, comma 1. Is this one going to be dotted or solid? Well, since it's a bigger than, not a bigger than or equal to, this time we will be drawing a dotted line or a dashed line. So, so we can indicate that it's up to but not quite including the line. And then, is this going to be shaded above or below? Well, since it's y is bigger than the line, that means we're going to shade above the line, and so the shading would occur on this side. 